Hello and welcome everybody, this is Crusader Kings 2 and I'm One Proud Bavarian and today we have another achievement guide that is kind of coinciding with the running series except it has a different approach. This one will be for Empire of the Sun, an achievement that only 1.4% of all players in Crusader Kings 2 have. Uh, I've seen a lot of guides, a lot of decent guides, but I'm going to give you the best guide because this is super easy to do. You just need to be an emperor ruling over the reformed Zune faith. So let's just jump straight in. Now this achievement already has a couple of really good guides out there, most of which tell you to play the Abbasids. If you play the Abbasids, you're in possession of most of the land that you need and can simply convert to Zunism, but there's a much, much easier run, you know, one that just makes it so that it's essentially business for like five minutes of gameplay and you will start as the Ilkhanid. Now similar to the run for Lech, Chek and Rus, the Ilkhanid, similar to the Golden Horde, starts with a wonderful and a whopping 100,000 freemen. Those free armies are perfect to make this happen because nobody A will rebel against you and B you can curb stomp whoever you want to curb stomp. So the start is incredibly strong, especially because you are also already in that region where the holy, uh, holy sites of the Zunist faith are. What you should do first, just so that you can conquer quickly and, you know, uninhibited of any issues, just this focus is entirely relevant, just convert to the religion of your wife, uh, your wife, because your wife's religion will make it possible to holy war against any and everyone around you. Now what I'm doing here with the holy war against this, uh, I think it's the assassins actually, it's entirely unnecessary, I'm just doing it just so that you understand, so that my piety goes up, because what you sh uh, certainly need in this run is 250 piety to convert to the Zunist faith, and then 750 so that you can actually reform the faith. So if you do some holy wars left and right, I mean, you have the troops anyway, what's the matter, right? Now that you're at that point, what you need to do is find out all the holy uh, sites of the faith, which is Boast, and I believe then one in the northwest of Boast, and definitely make sure that you can actually rev uh, revoke those titles. Once you, have do uh, once you have done that and once you're ready to go forth, just make sure that you know revoke everything that is related to the holy site, but obviously do not hand out any of the holy sites yet, because you want to hold on to them until you're Zunus, so that you can immediately hand them out to you know, Zunus priests. Now, with that being said, make sure that you force vassalize the person or the realm into your northeast because there's another holy site right there in Kabul, or in Kabul, I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Forced vassalization will not actually give you their land, but it will make it so that you can just imprison them later. You have infinite troops, you can just, you know, even if they do rebel after you imprison them, it is perfectly fine. Now, what you can see here is I go out and I actually, you know, take apart a bit of the, the pieces of land here, left and right, I suppose, that have nothing in them. I do this so that I get more piety and more prestige because, you know, again, important for this run is not really what you do beyond that because you physically cannot lose, just, you know, to phrase it like that. You have infinite amount of troops, you just need the piety and the prestige to do everything. For example, in this case, the Force Vassalization one obviously costs you a lot of prestige, and with this one you can easily go through and do it. Now, um, I conquer this land very, very quickly, and I think so will you. There is not really any hurdle after this, what I did here, and this is wholly unnecessary, you don't actually have to do it, I went to a holy war against Delhi because not necessarily of the piety that this brings, but, and I think this is indeed significant if you do want to do this as quickly as possible, but if you conquer the land that I just conquered there so swiftly, you will have a lot of new provinces around you that you can raid once you go Zunist. And that is quite necessary because that means that you can raid temples, every temple is worth 1% point in terms of giving you piety, as you can see here, I'm revoking all of the necessary titles. One of my relatives held that title, that's okay. I'm revoking all of them, I'm holding on to it, and then you're ready. You know, I converted to the Zunism already. You're ready to hand out the temples and then just, you know, check out how much piety you need and go raid. I mean, that is really the rundown of this uh, achievement. You can do it as the Abbasids, you can do it as so many different factors, but I believe that this is the first guide on the internet that tells you to do with the Ilkhanid. The Ilkhanid, in particular, viable for this one simply because they have an infinite amount of troops. It is ridiculous to think about it. Obviously, I guess that, you know, this start date had the AI in mind in terms of who plays the Ilkhanid, in terms of who plays the Golden Horde, but here you are now that we can play this as the Horse Lords. It is fairly easy to do because you can just take these free troops and make sure to destroy everything that stands in your way. Now, with that being said, you can also easily, this is not in this guide, but you can also easily go ahead and do the achievement looking east and west, which, you know, needs you to control the empire of Persia and the empire of, uh, I believe, Rajasthan. If you control both of those, then you also get an achievement there. Anyway, what you can see here now, I have reached 50 moral authority, and with the, uh, 50 moral authority, we are, of course, in a position to actually go through and dab on everyone who isn't Zunist. Now, we're not 50 yet, but just a second here, okay? Just... And there you go, 50, pi uh, pi uh, 50 moral authority, that's the word. 
And that means you can reform the faith. I'm not actually going to do this in this video because I want to get the achievement in the actual playthrough that is currently running. But if you want to, you know, be quicker than me, then go ahead and do this. You can uh, do whatever you want with the doctrines, of course. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, I want to thank the members of the channel, starting with the Barons, Suspicious Duck, Stefan, The Richest T, Snywolf, Sai, and Hermann, and of course, the Dukes of the channel, Eric, Lexo, and Benedict. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you also want to support the channel, then you can check out the join button or the Paradox affiliate link in the description, where if you buy a game, I get a little bit of a share to no further cost to you at all. Thank you so much for tuning in, and later, alligator.